He was like, give us something. Meanwhile, Rufana gets to go to the Dalmecian Republic Finish for the first time the since the game started. Come, come, feel and we're going undercover. And apparently they eat chocobo around here. I've got peppers and peas, beans and beets. If it goes in a pot, I've got the lot. Well, it's an impressive wordplay. All you like, sir. It's all fresh. this very morning. Yeah. <laughs> Keep your hoods down and your heads. Yeah, they'll definitely need a few comatives. Might I interest you in a potion, milady? Perhaps a soothing salve to ease the aches of the road? Don't be tempted. I'm sorry. I wish you well, but maybe mothers guide you. <laughs> yeah, don't be tempted. Calmatives, curatives, restoratives. Why do I get the feeling that this is going to come back to him at some point? Yeah, why do I get the feeling that little boy is not... Five years later?! I'm sorry, what?! Jeez, when they said we were going to advance in the story, we weren't kidding! What have we learned? Yeah, and now Clive's 33. And he's going by Sid there now? Is a locked up in an old courthouse on the edge of town. And I hardly need tell you who is there to make sure they stay that way. Kuka's private guard. It's a trap. And not a very good one at that. Another? What does he hope to gain from this? I'll have the captives free before nightfall. So I've just been doing this for five years. Thought. Our comrades didn't give their lives for you to get your throat slit in a god's forsaken slum. So those in the courthouse should be left to suffer. That's not what I said. I simply meant it doesn't have to be you who frees them. Okay. But yeah, what are you going to do? You're as stubborn as the old Sid was. And apparently, yeah, I just simply adopted Sid's name, and apparently he does know that there was one who came before me. Just don't say I didn't warn you. You're Sid now, and if anything happens to him, we're finished. Yeah, who exactly are you anyway? And why did they need to advance this five years? Five days would have sufficed, not five years. Please, we don't know anything. You have to believe us. We'd help you if we could. Yeah, yeah, the Empire still rules around here. But you're helping us already. <laughs> Why, have you tipped his, your hand or something? Forgive him, my lord. He did not mean to offend. Quiet, you! No sign of Hugo. Hugo. Oh. I'll wager he thinks as highly of his minions' traps as we do. Then this should be easy. Don't hurt us. I beg of you. Quiet means quiet, branded scum. Guess we're gonna intervene. Even though in five years I've gained no experience levels, I'm still at level 24. It's going to be all right. I'm here to even the odds. Yeah, now I'm gonna bring the thunder and lightning. Sit here. Yeah, meanwhile, what's worth more, capturing the branded or fighting Sid? Yeah, I'm making you have a choice. No, 
than the others. Sure, fine. The bear is safe. Then let's check this out. Oh. Clive has claimed a portion of armor resistance. Yeah, a tuning of armor not only changes the elemental aspect of Clive's magic spells, but also allows several new iconic abilities, such as Thunderstorm, which rains leather bolts down on all nearby enemies, knocking them back. Bomber's iconic feat, Blind Justice, can be used to launch a barrage of ball lightning at up to nine targets, determining by locking onto them. The lightning will temporarily remain affixed to a target and can be ignited by striking it. She dies here! Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, I guess we're gonna make the most of this as much as we can. I probably can only do so where I currently am in my situation. Apparently I was given three high potions back. Yeah, I've had enough fun fighting from range. Yeah, here comes the rest of the guard. How many are there? As many as you want. Titan Go! Ugh. And apparently I really don't want to fight everything at once. Well, we did that. And you're going to die. And all of you are going to die. Yeah, for being supposedly made of stone, you're very fragile. Here comes the next wave. Enough of this! Let him play with the kitten! Kitten? Is that a curl? They brought a pet. That sounds like Final Fantasy X music. You'll pay for what you've done, Sid. Things are fast. Yeah. We'll have to be faster. No, it's just something known as a war panther. Nice try. Yeah, give it everything you got, guys. Oh, yeah, there we go. Might as well use a lemon break since we have it. He's staggered, go. He's staggered, give it everything you got. Yeah, pour on all that damage. Lots of iconic punishments are going down. For 14,000 points. Oh, jeez. Oh, I thought I dodged it. I'm really oh, making a pay right now. Oh wow! Whoa! What a move I did there! Overdrive. Hit the limit break. Go. Yeah, it, it's on its back and it wants to have its belly scratched, but that's not what I'm doing. Take it out. Yeah, there we go. And pick all that stuff up too. Uh. Yeah, who wants to Yeah, they're all like screw it. They'll tell Hugo. Of course they will. Let them. There's been more than enough bloodshed for one day. Or is there? 
Oh, they're back. Yeah, including one who's really seen better days. Hello. You and your bloody lip. Murderer. All of our friends are dead because of you. I beg your pardon? Do you hear me? They used us as bait. Bait to lure you out of your stinking hole. All because you couldn't just let things be. What are you even doing here? We never asked to be oh, saved. Oh, great. Did you think we'd thank you? They'll never forgive us. We're all mugged now. Yeah. I am public enemy number one, apparently. <sighs> For five years we fought to secure a better life for our kind. To see that we are treated as equals. Do you not want that? No, they're just like the Yanshins in Stormblood. Left alone. Every time you show your faces, it is we who suffer. It's all right. I'm sorry. Yeah, I turn poor Clive into you, Geary. Yeah, the people we want to save are the very people who hate us the most. It, it is Yancha and Stormblood. Be. This is our home, and this is where we'll stay. Sid told us this wouldn't be easy. They'll come round. Apparently not. If you say so. Yeah, you've kept this up for five years being... Treated by dirt, by, like know. dirt, by the very people you're trying to save. Damn it, Joshua, where are you when we need you? So we have a new location. That's where we came from, so this is the new, new hideaway. Among the fading remnants of ambitions long forgotten, do Clive and his companions forge a path to a better tomorrow? Yeah, or so we thought. So here's the rem Oh no, this isn't that. This is somewhere else altogether. That night five years ago, we destroyed what for many was a symbol of hope. For a reason they'll never know. We cannot blame them for thinking us the cause of their misery. Though it's to give them a better tomorrow, they see only that we've made their lives harder today. The regrets are for the real. must be lanced if it is to heal. I can't help but wonder if we've made the right choice. Yep, they are full of regret now. When Sid said that he wanted to create a world where we were free, free to choose our own path, I honestly don't think it mattered to him if that choice was right or wrong. Should have really been saying this stuff own. to the guy who's driving the boat. I miss him. Because I can't help but feel like he's gonna give the word to the Empire because. and they're gonna come and sick, seek us out. What we want. And that's why I bear his name. It's why we've all chosen to bear his legacy. And... I'm not going to let anything stand in our way. Also, did Clyde get his brand removed? Rides over, lovebirds, home sweet home. Yeah, Hal Torgal. Welcome to the new hideaway. Wherever it is. Yeah, we basically chose a sunken pirate ship. Home sweet home. Is that really what we're referring to this as? Oh, apparently Karen's toll is still here. around. Let's go and see him. Uh, and the new crafting recipe is the, available at the quote unquote black hammer. Back, 
apparently we're using the lift. Alright, away we go. Yeah, look at Sid. The, wor the worst man who ever lived. Because he did what the Ossians finally wanted, and look where it got us. Ah, oh, there you are, Clyde. Word of your adventures arrived this morning. Victor sent his thanks. Victor, huh? <laughs> I doubt Kupka will miss the fools he sent to catch me. Not a single one of the bearers we saved showed any interest in coming with us. No one seems keen to join hands with an outlaw. Nope. Any news while we were away? None worth mentioning. Gav's still off keeping an eye on the Republican army. Because it's the only guy he's Should got be left. Any day now. Understood. If anyone needs me, I'll be in the map room. And as for Karen? Still can't work that one out. There must be better places than the hull of a gutted airship to bury your nose in a book. Yeah, this is where she's chosen to be. And I'm sure she has her reasons. Yeah. Speak with... Oh, this is Vivian, a new character. I... Trust I'm not interested. So is this Karen's daughter or something? Back from your mission? I'm beginning to think your habit of surviving cannot be attributed to luck alone. One might say the same of you. Vivian Ninetales. <laughs> Ninetales. I'll have you know that only four attempts have been made on my life, and none was especially memorable. So, to what do I owe the honor? Could it be that you've come for one of my lessons? <laughs> and what are those lessons about? Is that so hard to believe? Very well, then. Shall we start with the state of the realm? Doesn't take a rocket Perhaps scientist to figure it out. Surprise, she finds herself at the mercy of armies and outlaws. Well, mostly armies. Though that's not for want of trying, is it, Clive? But the real question is, how did we get here? Yeah, how did we get here? What all occurred in the five years since? Long though Sambrek's dominion over northeastern Storm has endured, recent days have seen the Blight wrest ever more land from her grasp. For which reason, she has continued to wage war on her rival across the strait, hoping to claim less blackened pastures. What is but this Odin rival? Would sooner pawn his sword oh, Walud, right. Relinquish ash. And the Empire pays dearly for every blade of grass bent beneath Sambrekwa boots. Little wonder, then, that Sylvester set his sights on the Crystalline Dominion, an altogether easier target, possessed of no less ether. It was five years ago, while you were busying yourself with the destruction of Drake's head, that the Empire made its move, subjugating its theretofore neutral neighbor, a nation which could legitimately claim to be the center of the world. Yeah, now it's their center of their world. there is no world. better place to stage an army. From there, the Holy Empire's reach spans the Twins. The Non-Aggression Treaty was the only thing keeping them in check. But if they truly broke the pact without provocation, it is only a matter of time before others reply in kind. The Holy Empire, the Dalmechian Republic, the Kingdom of Walud, and of course, our friends in Yara. There's more? Who oh, the Iron Kingdom, right. When the last drop of blood is spilled. Yeah, we can't exactly pick a side this you time, were born can in we? Side. Do not fear for your home. Oh, dark clouds are wont to gather over the Dominion. Yet, in spite of it all, she has ever endured. And when the storm has passed, I am confident she will remain. Now. As to the matter of payment for today's lesson, complete a simple errand for me and we shall consider ourselves even. Define simple. Even. Right. <laughs> yeah, even Return he doesn't believe it. Return this volume to old tomes in the shelves. Tell him it was... Um, adequate. Alright. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to visit our resident historian. Our resident historian who is over a hundred yards away, but we'll get to Harpocrates. Oh yeah, we've seen this person before.
Yeah, and the tone of the music has definitely changed too. Yeah, it still feels like a five-year time skip was so unnecessary. Hi, Harpocrates. Norseman Harpocrates. Now that is a name I have not heard for a long time. So long, in fact, I had half forgotten it was mine. Welcome home, Clive. You were missed, as always. I believe this belongs to you. Vivian asked me to return it. Ready. <laughs> Our resident scholar devours books faster than young Tet does lemon tarts. Suppose you could find Won't something like I that in a place same. like this. Or a time. Yes, I no longer possess the necessary constitution for such indulgence, either in words or tarts. That said, I have continued my search for mention of the creature you encountered at Drake's head. Still nothing. But without access to the great libraries of Oriflam or the Dominion. I regret that I have been able to find little and less. I am sorry. Please, don't apologize. I'll send word to our associates. See if they can't furnish you with more books. I fear it is not more books that I require, but the right ones. Yeah, obviously. Mayhap we look in the wrong places. There are still libraries to the north. I guess that's what I need I'll to find I then. Go. You are too kind. There are not many in this world who would indulge the whims of a tired old historian. Not too tired to go filching Kubo nuts, though. Always oh, hello there, children. Nix him off the Moogle. Hush now. We all know there's no such thing as Moogle. Clive knows there's one. <laughs> yeah. I guess you're so well. stuck behind your books, I... huh? Yet they laugh far too little for one so young. The loss of their parents weighs heavy on them. However well they hide it. Titan took much from us that night. From some more than others. And the wounds that remain. They are not quick to heal. And probably never will. we must give them all the time they need. That we must. Just as I must give you the time you need to recuperate. Good day, Clive. Good day. Alright, so... Is... Gav will be back soon. Oh, he's blocked out, though. I should get some rest while I can. Yeah, I can't quite talk to him again. He's blocked out, so... Yeah, I guess we'll go... over here and see what we can find. Not back a blink and you're already off solving everyone's problems. It looks good, Clive. Goes well with the scale. <laughs> I'd had that brand for so long. I'd forgotten what life was like without it. Who removed it, it off of like you? To be myself. Oh, Taria. And it's all thanks to you, Taria. The scalpel did most of the work. Ah, before I forget, a rider was here with a letter from Gav. Otto left it on your desk. Otto stole us. All right, I'll have a look. And then you get some rest. Sure thing. What could you have a thought? Yeah, I still can't letter. go over to the souvenirs or the blacksmith yet. Oh, they will. No souvenirs, but they will allow me to speak with Blackthorn. Clive. Yeah. So, will it be? Oh, Levin Bolt Sword. Ooh, yeah, definitely getting this added. Not bad. I do say so myself. Yeah, I even have enough for another bastard sword and another broadsword. But this stuff is all still weaker, though. Yeah, I can't help but feel like I've missed something that allows me to get better gauntlets and necklace or belt or whatever. And. Yeah, so something is missing, I know it. Let's open the door. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's over there. 
Reading table. Missives. Reports, letters, and other important missives are addressed to Clive or delivered to this place, reading table, and its chambers. New messages are always arriving, so make it a point to check the reading desk upon returning to the hideaway. The Republic's play. Alright. The Republican army marches on the Empire at Twinside, and the men of the Rock have been summoned to the front. Something big is brewing, I reckon. I s I'll see your dunder aware upon my return. Signed, Gav. What does Gav have to say? The Republican army is on the march, leaving Randala in Hugo Kuka's charge. With him and his men occupied with the defense of the capital, they're less likely to trouble us. Good news, then. Yeah, but is it? It's more than that. This is our chance. The one we've been waiting for. What are we going to review? What are we going to witness? But look how far we've come. All that we have here, our friends, the hideaway, are they not cause for joy? Five years. Five long years. If I could only command this power I've been granted, we might have achieved so much more. But each time I reach for it, it's like something is holding me back. You haven't been Something able to use the freedom in all that time? It's not easily paid. Your body knows this only too well. It's merely trying to save you from yourself. Either that or Ultima has been... And every burden I cannot um, bear for Stop for now. This mission of ours has made me question everything I thought I knew. But one thing has become abundantly clear. The crystals take more than they give. In exchange for momentary comfort, we must endure a lifetime of pain, war after war, loss upon loss. Don't add salt onto the wounds. And Come now, on, ice heart. Now they rob us of our very homes, leaving naught but dust and ash. But you're trying to change that. We are trying to change that. And to me, that's no burden. I know, but... No buts. Try not to forget. We're only here because Joshua gave us a second chance. Oh, you heard about that. It's a pity to waste such a precious gift. He did. He was there. So you still have that after all this time. Mission. Yeah. I heard him call out. To Ultima. When are you going to have a proper reunion? Yeah, you're no longer burdened with guilt. If Joshua is still alive, he'll be looking for that... that thing. Do you think he will ever come back? I know he will. And we must be ready when he does. A toast? Yeah, as you build up the music. To a world without mother crystals. To a world without Heidelin. To Sid. I do have to say, those are extremely tiny goblets. But it does seem like we have a destination established. Meanwhile, Jinx. Yeah, we found Joshua again and his mysterious colleague. <clears throat> and so the North is lost. I knew that the blight spread ever more swiftly, Your Grace. But this... This is far... Far worse than any could have imagined. It is only a matter of time before the twins are no more. I wish I knew exactly what he was trying to do. Closer to its end, and here we chase shadows. Tell me, brother. 
Are our efforts in vain? Well, you're not with me, so you can't answer that. Yeah, if even he's having doubts, then you know there's something's wrong. Master Clive, a moment if you... Oh, hey, Otto. Uh, my apologies, I didn't mean to... Yeah, it, it's all right, we were just getting drunk. Not at all. Uh, we were just discussing strategy. That too. Speak freely, Otto. It's Martha, from the inn. She's gone missing. Anyway, I'll be in the mess when you've finished. Very well. Let me guess, Martha's about to be added to the list of casualties as we begin the Gathering Storm. Gathering Why Storm, no kidding. Arthur leave the rest. Alright, well, we'll at least speak with Otto first. Because we are coming up on two hours and it's going to be time for me to close the stream. Okay, yeah, there's the Arette Stone. Yeah, what does Otto want to say? Yeah, there, I'm sure there's a lot to talk about. What do we know, Otto? Some lads from the Imperial garrison in Rosaria started a fight over at Martha's Rest. Blood was spilled, bones were broken. The usual. <laughs> the usual. Somewhere in the middle of it all. Martha vanished without a word to anyone. And that ain't like her, Clive. Something's not right. You think this was planned? Of course it bloody was. Ever since Eastpool, the Empire's been tightening its grip round the Duchy's balls. Uh. They've strung up everyone who's ever set eyes on a runaway, claiming they're traitors to the Holy Throne, conspiring to restore the House of Rosfield to power. <laughs> I know it sounds like the bastards have turned their attentions to the poor bearers weak enough to stay put. Naturally, old Martha could see the way the wind was blowing, complained that it was getting harder and harder to take bearers in. And now she's missing. So she's if given she's up. fallen into the hands of the Empire, we could be next. A couple of curse breakers are already on their way to Curse me. breakers. They should help speed up the search. But if this is as bad as I think it is, you might end up having to save their asses and all. Don't worry, Otto. I'll make sure everyone gets home safe. So yeah, it looks like we have a journey ahead of ourselves. But yeah, we are we have that established, but we will leave that for our next stream. And still trying to wrap my head around the fact that we've gone five years too far ahead in the story I still say it should have been five days even five weeks or five five weeks would have been okay too five months would have been pushing it but five years like that like that's excessive like Yo Yoshi P I know you and your crew are people who are really good at storytelling but five years is taking it too far and what happens if we have to time warp again for another few years further down the line? Then what? How bad will this get? Will, Cl will Clive be a really old man before this is all said and done? Oh, uh, well, we won't know until Saturday, because that's when we head to find the Curse Breakers and head to where Martha is and see if hopefully we can still save her. But, wow, well... We were, I was expecting this was going to be a very heavy stream, and that's exactly what it was. And so, now we have this to look forward to. So, with that, I'd like to thank everyone for watching the continuation of Let's Play Final Fantasy XVI Live. And I'll see you guys back here again on Saturday, when we see just how badly this situation is going to get. Because if Clive is in this bad of a way now, who knows how much worse it'll get later. So, thank you very much, everyone, for watching, and until next time, everyone, may you ever walk in the light of the crystal.